Honey, I am back. Why are you so early today? Today there is not much work to do at the factory, which is why I asked to leave early. By the way, how is your checkup? My baby's health is good. Look, the baby's features are growing. It seems to be like his or her sister. It is great that his or her health is good. By the way, did the doctor say the baby looks like me or you? He said the baby looks like his or her daughter. Was it so? I get it. Mom, is dad coming anytime soon? I am starving now. You two eat first. I will wait for your dad to have dinner together. Yes, mom. Why are you this drunk? I met my old friends, and we had a few cans of beer. For so long you have not had this much. What is in you now? Is it a daughter again? He must be so upset that we do not have a son, as he always wants. Hong, it is time to go home. I heard that your wife is pregnant. Do you have a girl or a boy? We still do not know yet. Just pray that you will get a son so that he will take care of you when you grow old. A daughter will leave whenever she marries a husband. I have been trying my best. Let's go home. And don't forget to buy good food for the mother's good health. Yes. Hello. Where are you now? Please be back early. Today I am not feeling well at all. I have tons of work today. When you are back, please buy the milk for me too. Uncle, please help my bike a bit. Okay, just leave it there first. Father, let me do it. You may go wash and have dinner first and take some rest. Okay, you do it then. I will wait for us to have dinner together. I bought new clothes for you. Why don't you wear it? Why do you always keep it in the closet? My dear. 
My job requires lots of labor, and the dirt is always with me. Plus, the cloth is white, I don't want it to get dirty. Next time, I will buy you a darker color. As for the health foods, I bought so many for you. Please eat it so that we will have enough energy to work. Oh, I forgot to eat. Tomorrow I will do. Your daughter is so smart. She even knows how to fix the bike. My daughter can do all kinds of jobs that men can. And she knows well how to take care of the family. Don't you have a son? I have a son and a daughter. Wow, you are amazing. Nothing should be admired. Before, I had a misconception. Everyone tended to spoil the son that we have until he became arrogant. It's right that people say children grow in the way they are raised. I don't blame him for that anyway. Luckily, I have a daughter who is modest and grateful. Just now, I understand that no matter what their genders are. As long as we raise them right, they will become our good children. Sir, your bike is okay now. We charge you 5,000 riels. You might give it to my father. Father, let's go for dinner now. You might take some rest. Please eat regularly. Are you back? Let's go have dinner together. Why don't you all eat first? We are waiting for you to have dinner together. Why don't you eat with us anymore? Or did we do anything to upset you? No, my two daughters are lovely. Let's eat. It's good for our health to eat regularly. My dears, hurry to eat so that you can go to bed early. It's late already. Yes, daddy. Eat up, honey. So, you and our baby will have good health. I am determined that after this baby girl comes out, we will have a clear plan to raise her well.
Honey, did you really mean it? I meant it. Either boy or girl, they are still our children. Nothing is different. What really matters is that we need to raise them well to be good people. I get it. Children are our children. Do not prioritize based on gender. Both sons and daughters are capable of loving their parents. Just love and care for your children in the same way. They will be good members of the family and society.